Howdy, everyone, and welcome back to the Shonen Flopcast supplemental episode that goes with the episode about Stealth Symphony. I am your guide, Tucker Watley, here to talk to you about the use of language and pronunciation in this episode of Shonen Flop. This time, in addition to our normal Japanese stuff, I get to flex my German muscle a little bit, so that's fun. So without any further ado, let's start talking about some of the characters. Amano Yoichi. Amano Yoichi. So the thing about that is, Ichi, at the end of names and words in general, oftentimes the last E part gets dropped out, sometimes doesn't, so sometimes it could be pronounced Amano Yoichi, or Amano Yoichi. It's that whispered vowel phenomenon I was talking about the other day. Narita Ryogo. Narita Ryogo. So that OH in there, it's just a stylistic thing. It's the same as OU, so it's just a long O sound. It gets two beats. And the RY thing, it's difficult, but remember that in Japanese, the R is nothing like our R sound. It's more. It's less a r type of thing and more of a, a consonant, like a specific consonant. So the R Y is like a ryo, 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 like that. So narita, narita, ryogo, narita, ryogo. Okay, this next one is pretty weird. So this is the main character in Japanese. The way it's written out, it's kumonuma jiku, kumonuma jiku. The family name is just written in kanji, so that's obvious. So, kumonuma, kumonuma. The personal name is written out in katakana, so it's just written out as syllables, and often it's written in the way that it looks like it could very well be a loan word. So, I don't know where the difference between jig and zeke come from, but it really could be either. It could really be jig or zeke. So Zeke is the German word for victory. And the thing is, it, the reason why it could be either is because Japanese does not allow for the syllable Z. It has Z and it has Zat, but it doesn't have Z at all. Just like it doesn't have C, it only has C. So both and also whoever's if it really is the german word zeke they probably didn't realize that g's at the end of german are pronounced more like k's or like a k or a h so if you want to give it the german pronunciation if it really is they were trying to transfer the german word into katakana you could use the german pronunciation would be zeke so the s's at the beginning of words in german are pronounced like z's G's at the end of words are pronounced like K's or like H. Either either one, it depends on the dialect. But you could pronounce it as Zeke. Or if you just want to give it like the most obvious like transfer to English, you'd say Jig. Both of them are acceptable, but if it's ever written out as S-I-E-G, then you probably want to pronounce it Zeke. So, Kumonoma Jig? Kumonoma Zeke? and kumonuma jig are all acceptable. Yeah, it's weird. Yabusame Toroma. So Yabusame is the family name. Yabusame, all short. So Yabusame. And, but the name, the personal name is Toroma, but it's all written in katakana. So it could possibly be a loan word. If it was, I would call it something like Troma or something like that. So you could conceivably say he's Yabusame Toroma or Yabusame Troma. Yabusame Troma. Yabusame Troma or Yabusame Toroma. Toroma. Next is Nijigami Alice. Nijigami Alice. Obviously the uh, family name is Nijigami. And remember it's not Nijigami, it's Nijigami. And remember that the I's are always pronounced E and never E. So it's Nijigami. And then Arisu. That's just written in, out in katakana and it's obviously the English name Alice. The Japanese love naming people Alice. Like Alice in Wonderland is a huge thing there. So you could pronounce it Arisu 
or you could just say Alice. So Nijigami Alice, Nijigami Alice. And then finally, there's Yunagi Soya. So both of those first syllables in this name are long. So Yunagi Soya. So it's not really like Yunagi Soya. It's Yunagi Soya. Each of the names gets three beats, even though it's two syllables. So the Yu is going to be pronounced approximately twice as much as the Na or Gi. And the Sol is pronounced twice as long as the Ya at the end. So Yunagi Soya. Yunagi Soya. And that about wraps it up for this week's supplemental episode. I hope you found it both edifying and entertaining. I have been your host, Tucker Whatley. You can find me on Twitter at Tucker Whatley, T-U-C-K-E-R-W-H-A-T-L-E-Y. And you can also find my personal website at TuckerWhatley.com, spelt exactly the same way. Turned out it was really easy to get that stuff. Not a lot of other Tucker Whatleys out there, if you can imagine. Anyway, hope everyone has a good time out there. Stay safe, happy, and healthy, and see you, Space Cowboy.